discuss customer model in Oracle Fusion Cloud. So basically the customer has got a specific structured model within Oracle Fusion Applications Cloud. So I'm going to show you and explain you how a customer model works out here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take you to a empty slide. Okay, let's see the next slide. Okay, so the first thing you do while defining a customer is you choose the customer type. So here let's write customer type and you choose whether this is an organization or this is a person okay an organization could be like a limited company a public limited company a private limited company having one or more legal entities it could be a multinational corporation and so on whereas a person is if you're directly dealing with a person that is defined as a person so the first thing you do it is you choose the customer type so let's assume you choose organization so within organization once you choose then you have to define the customer organization details and this the bare minimum you have to provide something like a dunce number the registry id okay and then you have your uh, tax identification number or tin then once you define this information then at this level you can also define something like a profile a customer profile okay and that profile includes things like your payment terms your late charges your credit information your credit profile and so on okay then once you define the details at the organization level then you have got details at the customer account level so you got customer account and remember that one organization can have multiple customer accounts okay and so on and so forth okay and within each customer account or uh, or in fact at the customer account level you can define multiple things so what are those options you can give at the account level you can give things like uh, your payment information such as your receipt methods your bank account and so on then you can define your communication related information then you can define your customer profile and you can also define your customer relationship now what is customer relationship so one customer if it is linked to or related to another customer that's where the relationship comes into picture sometimes what happens is if it's a large organization it has got tie-ups with other sister companies and sometimes what happens the related customer you want it to pay a invoice on behalf of this customer so that's where relationship comes into picture the related customer can pay on behalf okay and a number of other things can be done on terms of relationships so that's where the customer relationship comes into picture 
the customer profile is similar to what I have explained you over here you, wherein you can define your payment information your late charges uh, your payment terms um, your dunning or collection related information and so on communication is place wherein you can define your contacts and how you communicate with your contacts okay so how you communicate you communicate by email you communicate by phone or fax and so on okay so these are the information you define at the customer account level okay then after customer account the next level come is the customer account site level now within this you also define when you define a customer account you have to define a customer account address and associate it with that customer account and once you define an address and associate with customer account then you can come to the next level and define a customer account site and within account site you've got you can associate something called as site purposes so within account site you've got business purposes and what are those business purposes you can have a build to purpose a ship to purpose a dunning purpose a legal purpose and so on okay so under customer account site you can give this information and um, at the site level you can define multiple other details just like at the customer level so apart from your business purposes you can define things like your payment information and again your bank account information you can define your communication information then you can define customer relationship you can define customer profile or you can in fact create a new customer profile at your account site level and you can also create a tax profile So you see this flexibility is given so that you can capture all the information for a large organization a large organization could have multiple account within a organization and within each customer account you can have multiple sites within each site you provide more information so all those information can be captured so this is basically top to bottom your customer account model now if I go back to uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud you can see this information more clearly now that you understood the entire model so let me go to Oracle Fusion Cloud quickly take you through the model now before we go further I'm going to quickly show you the release and version of Oracle Fusion applications cloud that we are into so I've just logged into financial implementer and in order to look at the details of the version you simply go to about this application and as you could see we are on Oracle Cloud application 21b which is uh, supposed to be the latest at the moment okay so hopefully at this time we will be learning the latest functionalities from the latest release of Oracle Cloud applications so here I have defined a customer called as uh, Mango Corporation if you see if I click on this uh, customer you see the first thing you have is the customer name the registry ID the Duns and Bradsheet number and the tax identification number also called as TIN 
fine and then you've got relationship at the organization level a tax profile you can define and a custom profile you can define okay once you define the organization then the next thing is you see the customer type as I said you can choose as organization or a person while defining a new customer so anyway after you define organization you have to define a customer account and one organization can have one or more customer accounts as you could see this plus icon over here you can have one more customer account within this organization so you choose this customer and in the customer account you see you give the account number account description account type whether it's an internal or an external account and customer class then other information such as account establishment date and more information such as the payment details which includes uh, your receipt methods how you accept your uh, payments from the customer which could be check it could be cash it could be EFT and so on then you also define your notification preferences whether um, you wish to remind uh, receive notification by email or by phone and so on and then you can define your communication preferences did we have bank accounts over here no it's at the site level okay now the communication you can define your uh, account contacts and then each account contacts you can define the contact points for example Adil Khan has been defined with a contact point of email and phone you can also add fax or any other contact points if you like okay any number of contacts you can define and designate each of the any your contact as a primary contact okay then you have got the relationship wherein you define the customer relationship so if I click on this uh, particular icon I can define a related customer account choose from the predefined list of customer values okay then you have got the profile history tab within profile history I can define a profile of this uh, customer this is the account profile it includes uh, a lot of information for credit and collections balance forward billing your payment terms your receipt matching statement and dunning invoicing and your late charges related information okay then this is what I explained you in my PowerPoint so if I go now to next level which is the customer account site level so after you define accounts you can define the account sites and within account site you've got uh, a number of uh, business purposes which could be built to ship to dunning legal and so on and when you have built to site defined you have to associate an address and when you define ship to site then you have to associate the corresponding build to site so the build to site is the one which is defined over here okay and once you have defined your address purposes then similar details you can define just like the customer account your payment details um, which is where you define your receipt methods right and you see you have got your payment instruments you can define and associate your bank accounts over here then you can also define your contacts and contact points you can create a new profile at the customer account site level which will include uh, your site level profile as well as profile pertaining to credit limits and late charges okay detail information about uh, your credit limit pertaining to each of your predefined currencies can be set over here and other uh, late charger related terms can be preset over here that will be applied automatically while you're uh, imposing the late charges after the due date of the invoices then you can also define a tax profile at the customer account site level and a lot of information goes into the tax profile you see the 
transaction tax level, your tax registration, tax exemptions, classifications, reporting codes, and any other withholding tax registration information. So a lot of information goes into the customer definition. And as I said, there are majorly three levels of information. One is at the customer organization level, then you've got the customer account level, and the third is the site level. So if I go back now to my PowerPoint slide, this is what I've explained to you. You start by defining a customer type, then you define the customer organization details, customer, then you define the customer account details, then you define the customer account site level details. And within each of these levels, you can add a lot of other information just as I've explained to you in the previous browsing through the fusion forms for defining the customer okay so now I will take you back to Oracle fusion cloud and here I'm going to click on the done button and I'm going to take you on to the create customer form so when you create a customer using the create customer function here you see it the system asks for minimal information the customer type whether it's organization or person you give this minimal information starting by giving organization information then account information account address and then the address details and address purposes so address purposes includes bill to ship to dunning legal and so on okay once you give this information then you save the record basic customer information will be saved then you query back your customer using manage customers form like this and that's where you provide a lot of other information I have explained to you previously in this class okay so in short this is the customer model in Oracle fusion cloud